Execute Trap Town by Jason Isbell is going to be played in drop D tuning and then capoed on the second fret of the guitar. If you don't know what drop D tuning is, it's where you take your sixth string, you drop it to a D so that it's the same note as your fourth string, it's just one octave lower. And then we'll capo on the second fret, which whenever we play a D shaped chord, it gives us a nice low bass response there in the sixth string. Of course, capoing on the second fret technically puts it in the key of E, but I will be referring to all these chords as though the capo is not here, like a D chord and frets one, two, and three relative to the capo instead of the real frets uh, three, four, and five. A couple things about this tutorial. Uh, this is the first tutorial that I ever did on YouTube, and I wanted to redo it because the first one was really long and the lighting and the sound was probably really bad, so I just wanted to do an update to it. Second thing to mention, if you want to learn the lead break for this tutorial, I've done a lesson on it, and I'll leave a link to that up here in the kind of the top right-hand corner of your screen. Uh, so that you can learn the lead break if you want to as well. All right, so live versions of this, Jason Isbell is definitely playing with a pick. But on the album, I don't hear the attack of a pick. It sounds really uh, kind of smooth and rounded, like it's being finger picked, so I'm doing the same thing here. To play the song, you want to start off on a D chord. You've got your first finger on the... Uh, You've got your first finger on the three string two fret, your ring finger on the two string three fret, and then your second finger, a lot of times Jason Isbell will leave the one string open. Sometimes he might put his second finger down on the one string two fret. That's just a little embellishment that you can do as you want, either open one string or fretted one string two fret. So you've got, the first note is gonna be that low six string. So I hit that with my thumb. And then I flick down with the back of my fingernails across the rest of the strings. And I, so I hit thumb, down, up, down. Or up, down, up. Up, down, up. Thumb, down, up, down, up, thumb, down, up, down, up. And that's really the strumming pattern for pretty much this whole thing. After that D chord, you're going to go to a G chord. Since we're in drop D, the G chord will be shaped differently. I've got my ring finger moving to the 6 string 5 fret, and my first finger pulled back to the 2 string 3 fret. My ring finger is muting out the 5 string. We don't want that 5 string to ring, but strings 4 and 3, we do want to ring. And here it's just a thumb on the 6 string, and then flick down on the back of your fingers and then right back into the D chord. And whenever you get back into the D chord, you can hear Jason Isbell go. That would be uh, in the D shape, you want to lift your first finger off the fretboard, hit thumb on the sixth string, your first finger grabs the three string, which is open, and then hammer your first finger down to the three string two fret. And then immediately after the hammer roll, hit with your first finger the two string where your ring finger is on the two string three fret. So that little lick happens a lot on the return to the D either, or sometimes it's more like, so sometimes it's a quicker, or sometimes it's a bit lengthier. something that you can play around with. So we've got the D chord, to the G chord, to the D chord, to then a B minor, walking down to a G, and then the D. The way that the B minor is going to work is Isbell leaves his ring finger in that D position on the two string three fret, and moves with his first finger to the five string two fret. And he hits thumb on the five string, and then just kind of flicks down across the rest of the strings there with his, uh, you know, I'm using the back of my finger now, he might be using a pick, but anyway, so hit the five string and then flick across the rest of the strings, and then you've got, so after the B minor, you're going to finger pick an open five string, an open four string, and an open three string. 
I'm using my thumb, first, second fingers to do that. And that pick of the open five, open four, open three, it's a bit delayed from what you might feel it should be. It's not a straight walk down. Just to play the chords, what this is not doing is it's not going. It's going. So not one, two, three, four, but one, two, and three, and four. So it's happening like on the and of two, one, and two, and three, and four, not one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, e, and a, one, e, and a, one, e, and a, So if we subdivide in sixteenth notes, I'm trying to think about how this is going, one, e, and a, two, e, and a, so it's happening on the E and a of the two. So dividing into the 16th notes, we would get 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. This B minor walk is going in 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a. So on the 3, you're going back down to the G chord and then back up into the D chord. So that's really kind of the most difficult thing about that song is getting that walk right from the, the B minor. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a so repeating the B minor 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 so it's on the 2 E and a or 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 That's the verse, the D to the G to the D, with a hammer on, and then B minor, walking to the G, back to the D. The chorus is going to be an E minor chord to a G chord, to a D chord, to an A chord, to an E minor chord, to a G chord, to the D chord. So the way that you're going to do the E minor, because we're in the different tuning, you're going to put your second finger on the six string two fret, your ring finger on the five string two fret, and then leave everything else open. That's your E minor. After the E minor, it's going to uh, move into the G chord by walking there, um, hitting along the way the six string four fret. So E minor, that's the six string four fret, pulling into the six string five fret of the G chord, and you can finger it with whatever fingers you want to. So down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. doing there. E minor to the G chord to the D chord, just standard D chord, and then you're going to move into the A chord. For the A chord, really, you can just borrow with your first finger uh, across strings 4, 3, and 2 on the second fret and strum from the 5 string down. Sometimes in this chord, it sounds like Jason Isbell still has his ring finger in that D position on the 2 string 3 fret, and sometimes it's lifted up with the first finger grabbing the 2 string uh, two fret on the bar, or sometimes it might reverse that going, uh, starting on the bar and then putting the ring finger down on the two string three fret, and then back to the E minor, walk to the G chord, to the D chord. Sometimes here I feel like it might be, uh, instead of hammering on with the first finger in the D, I feel like in the chorus it could be hammer your ring finger, like lift your ring finger up and hammer it back down to the two string three fret, and then hit the open one string behind it. And that's the chorus, so E minor to the G, to the D, to the A, to the E minor, walk to the G, to the D. Hold the D, hold the D, go back to the E minor, walk to the G, and that just repeats. When we get to the bridge where the lead break happens, we're going to go to a C chord, to a G, to a D. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and one, two, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, one, two, three, four, and one, two. So that's
that's the C chord is ring finger to the five string three fret, second finger to the four, four string two fret, open three string, first finger to the one string two fret, open one string. You can play this as a traditional C major chord, or you might want to play it with this, like this add of a nine right here, uh, ring finger staying in the D position on the two string three fret. So the C chord, Sometimes I just hear it walking down to like that B note on the 5 string 2 fret and then into the D chord or sometimes just a standard C chord into the G chord to the D chord. Also in this, I feel like I can hear some walk downs happening. Like So imagine kind of hitting a pickup note into this C chord by hitting the open, open two and three strings and then putting your second and first fingers into C position and then opening back up the two string and then moving your second finger to the three string two fret and then open the three string and hit the G note on the 6th string 5 fret, and then like the 5 string 2 fret to 5 string open, and then the D. Or just back in the D chord, or the C, if you're doing the C with your ring finger in the a two string three fret position. Like you can do that same sort of walk down going from in the C, uh, your ring finger on the two string three fret to first finger on the two string one fret, all the while your second finger being on the five string three fret in C position. Moving with your first finger to the three string two fret, then back to the G chord and D chord. It's variations of C to a G to a D and going either to standard chords or walking at C down to the B to the D or walking even within that. Those notes. And then it repeats and finishes back in the D and then you've got one final verse that takes place. Mm -hmm. 